Hey, 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 YouTube world, we are back once again. I hope y'all are having a fantabulous day so far. Let me back up a little bit so you can see me here. Download, please, all of our podcast episodes below. Much appreciated. So, Christian McCaffrey has just signed a four-year contract extension with the Carolina Panthers. And as I've been saying for months, this was an idiotic decision on the part of the Carolina Panthers. I get Christian McCaffrey was really good. In fact, he made all pro at two different positions last year. But you know who else made all pro at two different positions? Khalil Mack. And guess what? The Raiders traded Khalil Mack away with a year left on his deal. The Bears gave him a long-term extension. And look at how that trade is turning out for both of those teams now. Because the Oakland Raiders, now the Las Vegas Raiders, have turned that trade into Josh Jacobs, into Max Crosby, who recorded more sacks last year than Khalil Mack. Uh, The Raiders have turned that into their first round pick that will be this year. They've turned that into potentially a future draft asset at a later date. There's a complicated mess that I don't want to get into. And what has Chicago turned that into? Khalil Mack, who last year while making 20 plus million dollars a year, recorded five and a half sacks, and it's looking with time, it was able to reset Oakland, push them forward, and with the decision making that's going on in Chicago, it has really set the franchise back a lot. The Khalil Mack signing combined with the other signings they've made have cap strapped them and and find them in a position where they had a good year defensively, but defensive metrics are sporadic year to year to year. So. Knowing that the Panthers should have traded Christian McCaffrey this offseason, given that his value was never going to be higher and they were headed towards a rebuild, it just it's confirmation bias that the, the fact that it, the signing is coming now is confirmation bias that you never pay the running back. The Panthers have no idea what they're doing. They don't really have any direction. Are you rebuilding? Are you trying to compete? If you're going to do a rebuild, you got to do it right. Cam Newton for some kind of value, they did not. Putting in a quarterback that can't win so that you get a top pick to get Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields, they did not. They signed Teddy Bridgewater for $20 million a year, and it's trading the valuable assets to accumulate draft picks in order to push that window farther down the road, and they can all hit their physical peaks at the exact same time. That's how you build a winner. The Panthers have no direction. The worst thing you could do in that situation is sign Christian McCaffrey to an extension because he's now under contract for six years. No running back does well six years from now. Even Le'Veon Bell, even David Johnson, even Todd Gurley, like guys that were surefire home runs. This is like three years. Imagine what it's going to look like six years from now. The Panthers have made a cataclysmic mistake once again. They have no idea what they're doing, and they're going to be stuck in this kind of purgatory for a long time, and it's not the way they wanted to get the Matt Rule era underway. Now, playing McCaffrey next year, okay, that's fine. You could have franchise tagged him one year. You could have franchise tagged him again. You could have had four years of Christian McCaffrey before he hit free agency. Now, if you're McCaffrey, it's a raw deal because he doesn't get paid like a top running back until later on down the road, but they wanted to lock him up two years before his contract comes full circle and he's able to capitalize on that. This is just a bad, bad deal all around for the Carolina Panthers. They've made an awful mistake today, and it, it's just, it's the same things over and over. When will these organizations learn? Belichick figured it out 20 years ago. You don't pay the running back. You get value at the position because it's one of the least valuable positions in the league. If you can get value at the running back position, you can put that money towards building out the rest of your roster. Sometimes it can be four to five players at much more valuable positions depending on how much you get them for. If you can get a Shaq Barrett 
on a cheap deal. If you can accumulate draft assets for Christian McCaffrey, you're using that money to accumulate four players at potentially more impactful positions, like an edge rusher, like an offensive lineman, like a linebacker, like a safety, or maybe even a quarterback. So why do teams keep making these decisions over and over? You're probably going to hear me talk about this on the podcast tomorrow, barring what happens with a Stripe Hype Tuesday, which you can check that out below. There's going to be lots of good content Tuesday morning on the Take It Easy podcast. I encourage each and every one of you to be on the lookout for that. Carolina Panthers, raw deal. Awful idea to pay Christian McCaffrey $16 million a year.